Welcome to the Celebrated Archivers Mentorship Program, CHAMP. We are bringing academic dreams to reality. So in this video, we'll be talking on Lee Chatless Principle. Now, in 16, oh, it's 1888. In 1888, a man called Lee Chatless uh, postulated a uh, principle to describe the chemical equilibrium of the state of chemical equilibrium on a reversible reaction. So what this man was saying essentially was that if an external constraint is imposed on the system which is in chemical equilibrium, the system will shift so as to annul or neutralize the effect of this constraint. So he gave us three constraints actually, and that's what we'll be treating in this video. Prayer, temperature, and what and concentration. Concentration. So these are the three things we'll be treating now. So let's take them one after the other. So let's take prayer first. Or should we take temperature? Yes, anyone. Let's take prayer. Please follow on. So we have prayer. We have prayer. Now, the first thing to note about prayer is that prayer this with gases. Prayer this with gases. So prayer this with gases. Prayer this with gases. Prayer this with gases. So let's move on now. Let's move on now. So uh, now, everything about this prayer... I'll be uh, explaining it using what boy's law. Boy's law. So you can easily retain it. Now, what's boy's law? Boy's law states that the volume of a given mass of a gas is inversely proportional to the prayer. So if the prayer is high, the volume will be what? The volume will be low. Right? If the prayer is low, what will be favored? Volume will be what? Will be high. Let me just make a diagrammatic representation of this. According to the... Uh, Concept given to us by Robert Bios in 1661. So this is it. We have um, um, something like this. We have something like this. We have something like this. I just want to use it to explain Boy's Law so that you can get the understanding well. So, yes, said, yeah, we have what? Yeah, we have. We have a, 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 a prayer. Let's say in form of a stone or anything. Let's now say we increase this prayer. We increase this prayer. This is the volume. This is the volume. This is the volume that we have. Let's now say we increase this prayer to be very big. What will happen to this place? This prayer will do what? We press it down. So, this thing will do what? We come down. So it will, it will be it will, it will, the volume will be what very slow. So the volume will be what will be low because we do it what we increase the prayer. Prayer is high. Do you get it now? Because we increase the prayer, the volume what the volume decreased. But in this place, if we replace this stone with something very small, with something very small, this thing will come, will do what will come up again. Will come up again. So the volume will increase. Volume will be high when prayer is low. So take note of that. So let me just give, let, let me teach you how to get the volumes of reaction. So let's say we have a reaction like this, CO plus O2 to give us CO2. Yes, let's balance it, 2, 2. Balance now. Yes, this is gas, this is gas, this is gas. Why did I, uh, uh, why do everything need to, why do we need to have gas? Everything may not be in gas, but we need to have at least a gas for prayer to be effective because prayer this with what? The prayer this with gases. So let's come here now. Let's come here now. We have CO plus O. If they ask you what's the volume of oxygen and what's the volume of your reactant, the volume of your reactant, that's what's 2 plus 1. That's 3. So the volume of your reactant is 3. What's the volume of your product? That's what's 2. Are you getting it now? Yes. So let's take some uh, other applications. So we have another thing like this. Yes, let's say we have another reaction like this. We have another reaction like this. Let's say we have SO2 plus O2 to give us SO3. Just the same pattern. Yes. So let's let me ask what what what's the what's the volume of your reactant? That's what that's three, right? Two plus one. What's the volume of your product? Two. Another reaction. N2 plus H2 to give us what? Two NH3. This is three. This is one. Yes. What's the volume of your reactant? That's what four. What's the volume of your product? Two. So yes, let's apply it now. So if they say they increase the prayer, if they say they increase the prayer, what's the meaning of increase in prayer? That means the prayer is what? I. Prayer is I. So if the prayer is I, what will happen to the volume? The volume will be what? The volume will be low. Prayer is I. Volume will be low. So I prayer low volume. So let's let's check some common reactions like this. 
So let's say we have SO2 plus O2 to give you what SO3. They now said, what will be the effect of what? Increase in prayer. Increase in prayer. So they said, will it, what's the effect of increase in prayer? So let's check it now. Increase in prayer means what? I pray. So prayer is I. I pray. What will happen to the volume? The volume would be what? The volume would be low. I pray, low volume. Do you get it now? So check your volume. This one is what? Three. This one is what? Two. Which one is lower between three and two? That's what? Two. So it will favor, it will favor the forward reaction. It will favor the forward reaction. Or it will favor the production of, what's, what, what is in the forward reaction? It will favor the production of SO3. Of SO3. Are you getting it now? So that's just it. That's just it. It's just as simple as that. Let's move on now. Let's say we have another reaction. N2 plus H2. This ABA process. 2NH3. Yes. Let's say they ask you what's the effect of decrease in prayer. So can you try it out now? Yes. I'm sure you've done that. So decrease in prayer is what? Low prayer. Low prayer. So low prayer will be what? I volume. I volume. So check your... This one is what? 4. This one is what? 2. So I volume is what? 4. You get it now. So it will favor the reverse reaction. It will favor the reverse the reverse reaction. Or it will favor the production of what? The production of nitrogen gas. Or it will favor the production of hydrogen gas. Any of the reactants. Any of the reverse reaction. Do you get it now? Yes. So you are the one trying this one on your own. Let's say we have something like this. A, which is gaseous. 2B, which is gaseous. To give us 3. Okay. To give us 3C, gaseous. Plus D, gaseous. So what is the effect of increase in prayer? Increase in prayer. I'm sure you've drawn it now. Yeah. So increase in prayer means what? I pray you. I pray you. I pray you is equivalent to what? Low volume. So check your volume. Three, four. Which one is low? Low volume. That's what's three. That's what's three. So three is what? Low volume. So you have what? Backward. It will favor. It will favor the reverse or backward reaction. What's your reverse reaction? So it will favor what? It will favor B. Or it will favor what? E. So that's just that. Yes. Let me go to complex cases from prayer now. So, you will be the one to intelligently think this one before I explain. So, let's say we have a reaction like this. Exactly. Everything is gaseous. Yes. What will be the effect of your prayer if I increase the prayer? What is your answer? So, think on it intelligently before I teach you how to solve this special case. Yeah. Increase in power. Well, that's high prayer. That's what low volume. But if you check your reaction very well, the volume of the reactant is what two. The volume of your product two is what two. So when when they are both the same, when they are both the same, you will it will be what no effect, no effect because no one is low, no one has low volume, no one has high volume. So it is two two. Another case, another case. Let's say you have something like this X gaseous plus Y solid to give you what X Y two. Let's say this one is okay. This one is solid. Then we have this one to be liquid. Yes. Think it out. What's your answer? So, yes. Try for decrease in prayer. Decrease in prayer. Now, this is it. So, they say decrease in prayer, right? So, that's what? Low prayer. Low prayer is the same thing as what? High volume. High volume. So, let's check it out. What's our volume here? One. We can't count this one because it's a solid. So our volume is what? One. Out of this one, the volume is what? Zero. We can't count it because it's what? It's a liquid. So let's go. So I volume, zero, one. So this is what? This side is your what? Will be favored. So it will favor the reverse reaction. Or it will favor what? The formation of X or the formation of what? Why anything in that reverse reaction? Yes. Let me give you one more now. Then I move to temperature. Yes, let's go now. Now you have, let's say we have um, C, gaseous plus D, solid to give you what? C, D, 2C, D. 
Let's say this one is C2, mm. then this one is what? This one is also gaseous. So yes, what is what will be the effect of your increase in prayer? What is the effect of your increase in prayer? So try it out now. This one is gaseous, this one is solid, this one is gaseous. I'm sure that now. So yes, let's move on. Increase in prayer, that's what I pray you. That will be accompanied with what? Low volume. So what's your volume here? Two. What's your volume here? One. We can't count this one. So two, one. Low volume. This is what? It will favor the what? The reverse reaction. Or what? Or C. Or what? Or D. You get it now. So that's all about prayer. That's all about prayer. Let's check temperature now. Temperature. So we'll be, I will just give you four things you need to know. Then with that four things, you should be able to solve every form of question on temperature. Let's go now. The first thing, the first thing, if your forward reaction, if your forward reaction is endothermic, what is the meaning of endothermic? You absorb it. If your forward reaction is endothermic, your backward reaction will be what? Your backward reaction is exothermic. Do you get it now? So if you have A plus B to give you what C, and they said the entropy change is positive, then backward will be what? If you come like this, A plus B, your backward reaction will be what? Or let me write it like this, C to give you A plus B. So this is your backward reaction. It will be what? It will be negative. Do you get it now? So this is it. Now, the second thing, if the backward reaction or if the forward reaction is what is exothermic, the backward reaction will be what will be endothermic. Endothermic. Do you get it now? Yeah. So let's move on. Let's move on. So we have uh let's say we have A plus B to give us to give us C. The forward, this is the forward, A plus B to C. They said it is exothermic. So the backward. The backward will be what? This backward, C to give us A plus B. The backward will be what? Will be what? Endothermic. Do you get it now? Yeah. The third thing you need to know. <clears throat> increase in prayer, increase in temperature. We favor an endothermic reaction. We always favor an endothermic reaction. Never forget that. While decrease in temperature, we favor what? An exothermic reaction. We favor an exothermic reaction. So, yes, move with those four principles. Move with those four principles. Yes, first question now. We have 2C plus D to give us E. Now, we don't need the state of matter. This is not prayer. Even if it's a gas, if it's a solid, if it's a liquid, it will work. Then we have entropy change to be what? Positive. Or let's say plus 50. Plus 50. Then I said, what is the effect of what? Decrease in temperature. So let's go. Forward reaction is what? Forward reaction is endothermic, right? Are you following? Backward reaction is what? Backward reaction is will be what? Exothermic. Are you following? Then I said decrease in temperature. Which one will favor decrease in temperature? Endo or exo? Decrease in temperature is what? Exo. So it will be what? Backward reaction. It will favor the backward reaction backward reaction or what's the backward reaction it will favor the formation of c or the formation of what of d now let's go let's take another thing let's say uh abba process i told you that you don't need uh the volume you don't need the state of matter in prayer you just need the uh the entropy change let's say this one is what minus 36 kilojoule or anything so the forward reaction is what forward reaction is exothermic Let's say they ask you to find the effect on increase in temperature. Increase in temperature. So if the forward is exothermic, the backward will be what? The backward will be endothermic. Now, increase in temperature, will it favor exo or endo? That's what endo. So the backward reaction will be favored. Or nitrogen will be favored. Or hydrogen will be favored. Yes, another reaction. SO2 plus O2 to give us SO3 is also all endothermic. Let's say minus 1 or 6. Then they said, what is the effect of decrease in temperature? Decrease in temperature. Yeah, let's go now. If your forward reaction is exothermic, forward reaction, exothermic, your backward reaction would be what? Would be what? Endothermic. 
Are you getting it now? So if your forward is exothermic, backward is endothermic, decrease in temperature will favor what? Exothermic reaction. So it will favor the what? Favor the forward reaction or the formation of what? SO3. Are you getting it now? So that's all about temperature. The last one, so temperature finally demystified. Last one, concentration. Concentration. Now, concentration is actually very critical, but you can take it like this so that it won't be hard. Let's say we have uh, three boys here. Are you are you are you following? Now it's just like a game. Then we have what? We have three guys here, or three boys, three boys. Now the aim is that you must what? You must favor the minority. Favor the what? The minority. Are you following? You must favor the what the minority. So let's say out of these people, they, they kill this one or they remove this one. So these people remain what two. These people remain what three. Do you get it now? So if you want to favor something, which one will be favored between the one with three or the one with two? The one with what? One with two. So forward reaction will be favored. I will begin to show you now. Forward reaction will be what favored. Let me show you another thing. We have two year. We have another one, two year. Then the old man, uh, a, a soldier come or somebody said, I will support these people or I will support these people. So somebody joined these people. These people become three. These people are still two. Which one will be favored between these three and these two? You favor the words, the minority, the two. So here, backward reaction will be favored. Do you get it now? The one that is minority will always be what will be favored. So backward reaction is favored. So let's take a question now. Let's say we have um, SO2 plus O2. I love this reaction. Pardon me. We have yes. Let's say they now said they remove O2. They remove O2. They remove O2. Which one will be favored? Now this is it. We have two soldiers. Uh, they remove part of this one. Which one will be favored? This one. Where they remove something. Do you understand? Where they remove something will be favored. So backward reaction will be favored. Or SO2 will be favored. Production of SO2. Or production of O2 will be favored. Do you get it now? Another one, N2 plus H2 to give us what? 2NH3. Yes. Now, they now said, remember, this is not prayer. We are not dealing with all these volumes. They are, they are meaningless. We are not dealing with the volumes. Let's say they are, they are adding more of ammonia. They are adding more of ammonia. Which one will be favored? They are adding more of ammonia. Which one will be favored? The backward reaction. Because this one is what is increasing. So the backward reaction will be favored. Backward reaction will be favored. Are you getting it now? So you always favor your what? Your minority. You always favor your what? Minority. Minority. Let's take questions on precipitate. Now your precipitate is always what? It's always solid. Let's say I have a reaction like this. I have a reaction like this. PBI note into bracket 2 plus. This one is aqueous plus um I'm coming. Let's say plus HCl. Or NaCl to give me what PBCl2 plus NaNO3. Yeah. Aqueous. This one is solid. I told you that your what your uh your precipitate is always what solid. They now said, how will you favor the uh the formation of what of your precipitates? How will you favor the formation of precipitate? What is that saying? We want this one to be favored. What are the two ways we can get it? We can be removing what? We can remove any of this one. Remove the product. Are you getting it? Or we can do what? We can add more to the reactant. Are you getting it? Or add more to the what? To the reactant. This is if we want to form more of the what? Of the precipitate. This is it. We want to get this one. We want to get more of this one. Right? So, if you want to... And we said, the one that we want to favor must be the words minority. So, how can we make this side the minority? He said that you are removing any of these products. If you are removing it, it will become what? Minority. Or you add what? You add to this one. Do you understand? That's how you can favor this one. Now, let's say another question. How do you dissolve the precipitate? How do you dissolve the precipitate? What's the meaning? You want to dissolve the precipitate. You want it to favor this other side. What's the meaning of dissolving precipitate? You don't want a solid. You don't need a solid. You want everything to be aqueous. So you want to favor this side. So how do we favor this side? Put this one as your minority. Are you getting it now? Put this one as your minority. So let's go. How can you favor this side? Remove what? Remove the reactants. Or what? 
or add more to the word to the product. I hope you get it now. That's on precipitate. That's on precipitate. Now there's a special case where you will have. Let's say I have something like this: ammonia, ammonia reacting with um. Let me say ammonia is reacting with copper to give me copper to tetramine ion. Yes. This is this this is a common this is a typical reaction. Now they say what will happen? Which side will be favored if I add more of ammonia? Add more of ammonia. Which side will be favored? Yes, I'm adding more of this side. I'm adding more of ammonia. Which one will be favored? The forward reaction. Do you get it now? Because this is now your what minority. So forward reaction will be favored. Or the formation of this word complex. Formation of Cu. NH3 into bracket 4. Another one. Let's say we are adding HCl. We are adding what? HCl. Add HCl. Now, we don't have HCl in this reaction. What are we going to do? Now, this is it. If you add HCl, what will HCl react with among all these things? HCl is an acid. NH3 is a what? Is a base. So, HCl will be doing what? Will be reacting with this NH3. That means NH3 will be what? Will be decreasing. Do you get it now? NH3 will be decreasing. So if NH3 is decreasing, we are removing NH3. Which one will be favored? We are removing NH3. Which one will be favored? So it's your minority. We are removing it. So your backward reaction will be what will be favored. Do you get it now? There's another reaction. We have NaOH plus, let's say, uh, K to give us what's KOH. Or, no, I don't want to use this. Let me just use um, MgCl2. So this will give me what I don't want to use uh, base. Or let, let's just say we have something like this for anyhow. And we want to add H2SO4. So what will be your reaction? You know that H2SO4 will react with what? NaOH. So this one will be what? Which one will be reducing? So it will be your what? Minority. So backward reaction will be favored. But let's say we are adding more of NaOH. We are adding more of NaOH. So this one will be in excess. The other side will be your worst, your minority. I hope you get it now. So let's take some past questions together as much as we can before we finally call it. Yeah, let's go. We have question eight. Yeah, I'm dealing with lambda. They said, which of the following changes? Which of the following changes the value of the equilibrium constant? Your enthalpy is what's negative. Your enthalpy is negative. Yes, the only thing that changes the value of the equilibrium constant is what's temperature. Please take note of that. I forgot to talk on that. The only thing that will change the value of your equilibrium constant is what temperature. So that's that increasing the temperature. Next question: x plus y to give you x y is positive. Now, what's the meaning of positive? It is what endothermic. So your forward is what endothermic. Your backward will be what? Your backward will be exothermic. Are you following? Now they said which of the following is for correct? The reverse reaction is endothermic. They said the reverse backward is the same thing as reverse. Is that correct? No. They said the reverse reaction is exothermic. Endothermic, the reverse reaction is what? Exo. Prayer has no effect. Check it out. Prayer has no effect. What's the uh, volume here? Two. What's the volume here? Two. So prayer has no effect. You get it now. So B is correct. Next question. The enthalpy change is what? Is positive. So the forward is what? Forward is endothermic. Right? The backward will be what? Backward will be what? Exothermic or reverse. They said... When the temperature is increased, what will happen? Increase in temperature favors what? Endothermic reaction. So that's your forward reaction. So YZ2 will increase. The concentration of YZ2 will increase. Option A. Are you getting it now? Next question. An equilibrium reaction is represented by the equation below. Which of the following statements about the equilibrium reaction is false? Enthalpy change is negative. So forward is negative. Backward will be what? Will be endothermic for this exothermic backward to be endothermic. So they said the forward and reverse reaction produced at the same rate. Yes, that's correct for every equilibrium reaction. The forces and reaction they produce at the same rate. Increase in temperature will favor what reverse reaction. Increase in temperature favors what it favors endothermic reaction, right? So your forward is exothermic, your backward will be what endothermic. So that's correct. Reverse the introduction of catalyst will favor what. Only the reaction alone. Now, catalyst is what? Catalyst lowers activation energy. It, it affects both. It affects both forward and backward. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Question 12. When the, what will happen when the total pressure is increased? Pressure is what? Increased. So what will happen? High pressure. It will favor what? Low volume. So check your volume. Volume here is 2. Volume here is 1. Which one is the low volume? 1. So your forward reaction will be what? Will be favored. So... So N2O4 will be formed, production of more N2O4.
Do you get it now? Yes. Question 13. What is the effect of decrease in temperature? Decre a decrease in temperature. Decrease in temperature will favor what? Exothermic reaction. So this one, the forward is what? Positive. The backward is what? Negative. That's exothermic reaction. So the reverse reaction will be favored. Yes, reverse reaction is favored. So we are, we've gotten that. Are you getting it? Is it getting simpler? So it's just about that. Let's quickly finish all the questions. The position of an equilibrium of an exothermic reaction can be shifted forward by... Now, this is it. We want to shift it forward. We want to favor the uh, forward reaction. And it is an exothermic reaction. <clears throat> it is an what? It is an exothermic reaction. So let's check it out now. How do we favor an exothermic reaction? We want to shift it forward. We want to favor the forward reaction. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? If the forward reaction is what? If the forward reaction is exothermic, the backward reaction is what? Endothermic. So that's, it will, will, will do what? Will decrease the temperature. Will decrease the temperature at constant pressure. So that's just that. I've explained this number 15. I've explained this number 15. What will happen when we, if a few drops of dilute HCl are added. So can you try it out? We're adding HCl. HCl reacts with what? Ammonia. That means ammonia is what? Decreasing. Are you getting it now? So ammonia is decreasing. Ammonia is decreasing. Ammonia is decreasing. What will happen? Which one is your minority now? This side. Because it is decreasing. So more of CG2 plus will be formed. So they said this one is pale blue. So the solution will be what? Will be lighter. If this one is favored, it will be deeper. Deep blue. Do you get it now? They said if an equilibrium reaction has enthalpy change greater than zero, that means it is what? It is positive. That is an endothermic reaction. The reaction will favor the reverse reaction at what? At what? Endothermic reaction positive. So if you want it to favor the backward reaction, that is what? Exothermic. Exothermic is what? Low temperature. Low temperature. This is it. Yeah. Okay. Which one is, will decrease as, uh, uh, will decrease, will, will displace to the left, to the left as a result of what? Decrease in pressure. Decrease in pressure will be displaced to the left. Decrease in pressure is what? It's corresponding to what? High volume. High volume. So check your reaction. Which one will have high volume at the what? At the left. So this one is 1 plus 3. That's what? 4. This one is 2. So this one is high volume. Option A. Do you get it now? If you check option B, this one is 2. This one is 2. No effect. If you check option C, 2, 3. High volume is to the right, but you need to the left. If you check option C, 1, yeah, 2. High volume to the right, but we need to the left. So option A is correct. Next question. The yield of hydrogen is increased by... How do we increase hydrogen? How do we increase hydrogen? Now, if you check this reaction very well, pressure has no effect. Because the volume of gases here is what? 4. The volume of gases here too is what? Is 4. So pressure has no effect. So you can't have anything like pressure. Now, if we want to increase hydrogen using concentration, how can we get more of this hydrogen? I told you two ways. We can do what? We can be removing hydrogen. Or we can be what? Adding more of the product. So what's your answer? Removing hydrogen from the system. So you get it now. Removing hydrogen from the system. So you can try all the other questions. This is a question on decrease in pressure. Right? This is a question on uh, reversible reaction. The position of equilibrium in reversible reaction is affected by what? Surface area doesn't affect it. Pres catalyst doesn't affect it. Size doesn't affect it. I told you three things affect it. Pressure, temperature, and what concentration. So concentration is correct. So yes, this is the question on uh, endothermic reaction, temperature. This is the question on precipitates. Let's solve it together. To dissolve this precipitate, what's your precipitate? Solid. So you want to dissolve the precipitate. You want it to favor this backward reaction. You want to dissolve it. You don't want to have a solid again. You want everything to be aqueous. You want everything to be aqueous. So you want to favor this reaction. You want to favor this reaction. So what must you add? What must you add? If you want to favor this place, if you want to favor this place, you want this place to be your minority. So you add what? You add more of the product. Or you remove more of this one. Do you understand? So this is your minority. You want to favor this place. So it's either you are removing this one, or you are what? You are adding more of this one. Do you understand? So what must be added? You are adding HCA. Or if cac 2 is in the option. So one of the two will be correct. So the same thing for this one. What's the role of vanadium 5 oxide? Vanadium 5 oxide acts as a catalyst. It is what it, re it reduces the activation energy. Yes. The equilibrium concentration of ammonia will increase. How can we increase the concentration of ammonia? This is an exothermic reaction. In terms of temperature, exothermic for forward. Exothermic for forward. 
then if we, if we want ammonia to be produced that would be what decrease in temperature do you understand decrease in temperature will favor what an exothermic reaction so that's why temperature decreases is correct yes the same thing for others yes if we check this reaction this is gas this is gas this is gas the volume here is what two the volume here is two so pressure has no effect on this one but if you check everything very well because they are all in equilibrium reactions they are all in equilibrium so they all comply with what the chartless principle they all comply with the chartless principle the same thing for that question this is a question on endothermic reaction the next question this is a question also on exothermic reaction temperature the next one this is a question on and uh, on temperature the concentration of x2 can be increased by then this is a question of on uh, exothermic reaction too this is a question on prayer so you can just try all the other questions out yes so we are done with everything now yes so you can just check out if you are still having problem with understanding it's just a 30 minutes video just watch it again and you'll be sure to get it thanks so much for staying through to the end this is the celebrated high achievers mentorship program champ we are bringing academic dreams to reality